Welcome, welcome, welcome to Factory Modded. This is SpaceX.6. I haven't done a stream for a while, so I thought oh, I might hop on and tinker, see what, what I can build, maybe fix some things up, I don't know. Um, I didn't know what I was doing last time. I think I was trying to fix up some junking things. I might get back into blueprinting. I like making more ships and things. I know those are the fun things. Um, most of my ships are doing nothing right now because um, I've got no resources that are needed. So I might actually start researching again. I wasn't going to go beyond Dead Space 3. I feel like I shouldn't break that thought. Actually, do I really want to research? Not really. We'll just leave it be. I'll leave it on. Leave it as is. Um, all right. Oh yeah, I was gonna start. Um, what's that train? What's that offline? I might put that offline. Can't remember. I got a new train to bring the stone from a new ship down. So we got this. I can't remember what it's called. Uh. I'm gonna give these guys better names. I think this one here is a generic uh, hauler ship I built. I think it's pretty cool. It's messy though, the wire, so I feel like remaking it just for the wiring. But you might hit around these wires when they get like this. Um, it's, it does my head in. So I think the resource here that I can start re using this. Um, obviously, I don't need this many resources, is the problem. So I read the iron and copper shouldn't be up here. We've already got way too much up here. We're not using it. A lot of barrels as well. They aren't really used. They're sort of just sitting around. So... No. I don't know. I should get rid of this stuff first, just uh, Vulcanite. So, I think Vulcanite... Uh, here's a build in orbit or that uses it, I think. Oh, when you click on it, it doesn't tell you. Oh, maybe it does. Yeah, yeah. So, you got the mechanical and you got the pulverizer. Once, once the space, once the ground. I think mechanical is the orbital one. So I think I should just get rid of this uh, Vulcanite. It shouldn't be up here anyway. So we'll just set up a little, little factory. I think you can grab these out of here. No, you can't. I thought you could. Mechanical. Okay. Oh, where's oh, the bots haven't done their job? So, I'm just going to process it. No efficiency, no productivity, nothing. Just get rid of it. But I would like to get it so that I recycle everything. I think that'd be good. There's no real need to do this, but I feel like, uh... I don't know. Uh, this is the wrong building. I thought this is the one... Oh no, it's the right one. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I should get rid of that. Get rid of that filter. We'll get a bunch of enriched, which we don't really care about. We're just trying to get rid of the, um... Get rid of it. Now they're crushed as well. Um... I could get sulfur up here, I guess. And, and just enrich it all. I'm not sure about turning it into uh, 
block on that block, so I don't think we need to do that. I think it's enriched it all until we get no crush left. So let's need to pick up some sulfur. I should put this the other way around actually. Um, and that's in a uh, red facility. I've never really thought about doing all the processing in orbit with no product 2 modules. It probably is actually worth it for some things, like you don't really need the um, product 2 for some of these builds. I mean it's nice to have, but you don't need to really do it. So they should be actually upgraded, they should be uh Be a bit nicer. So I want the these ones. And yeah, that'll do. Well, I can even just do a, um, a shared box. I do like the two by twos. Not my fave. Well. Do a green box like that. But then it won't. Well, think about this. Uh, these two come back and forwards, right? Let's go around circles. Is this the software add in? So having them come in and out in the same box probably does make sense. I don't know if we can got a green box up here. Maybe I do. We will see. I was probably getting into, um, into GTA actually, I mean, really addicted to the GTA roleplay, I mean, that's where I'm, why I haven't been streaming. I've been watching that, like, obsessively. It's like a better TV show because you get all the different angles in real time, and so you can switch around in real time at your choosing. There's so much choice, and apparently Twitch is investing in it too. I can see why, um... Yeah, maybe we don't make the buffer strong box up here. No, we don't. It's all good. What the wood? Why do there's a wood up here? We can make circuits out of that. Um, not much else use. What's this other? I had another ship that was doing the stone hauling. It comes to here, but I think it's a bit slow. Um, oh, the train station here is not empty. Just that the train is obviously uh, not so needed. I don't know. Let's have a look. Oh no, we got we got stone here still, so it's keeping up. Oh, I need to be able to pull for that. Alright, so look. Box. Okay, we got the strong box up here. I don't even know make make strong boxes, but maybe we do. It says we got them up here, but I don't know if we make them. See the count goes up. Yeah, it does. Okay, so we make the, we make the other ones. We still make the green one. We might as well make the uh, green chips out of wood. Do the copper wire. 
You can tell I'm pissing around when I'm just, um, we spill like a miniature factory next to my junking ship. But it's like a junking recycling yard. I probably should move this, I'll move this into the proper area later, but, um. Okay then, we also got sand to get rid of. So that's where this goes. Increase that to 300. It'd be nice if the recipe up here was actually slightly more efficient to counteract the productivity. So you don't need the production modules, but then the recipe, because it's in the better building, is more efficient. I think that's what they should have done. They should have two enriched Vulcan recipes, or just have one, but it supplies a different ratio in orbit. So this one up here should process really quickly. We use all the stone though, which is interesting. Oh wow, how much this shit we got? Oh yeah, so it's fine. They're 12,000 rich though. I think it does use this first, so how do I do that? I don't guarantee this set of goes first. I guess this one here shouldn't request the um crushed. I don't think it's up out here. I don't believe so. It looks pretty tidy. Thirteen thousand uranium to process. Wow. I mean I probably could drop that down to the ground as well for reprocessing. Use up uranium. I don't know whether you get much pro too. It's only eight percent, so I don't know if it really matters. It's probably better to get rid of it. Um, we do gain sand from this, which is interesting. Oh, it probably should be a um white stack. Here we go. You know about that there? Well, I guess it's pulling from that chest. It's not so bad, but... This can definitely do with a module build. Speak ones, I don't think what we want. What's this one do? Uh, what building is that? That's a uh, rad. I'm gonna go for speed... Four? Hold out. Here we go, speed four. What's the power of that? I mean, it was, it's fine. Could even put a beacon here just to be nice. I mean, I, I think I got the. Do I wear a beacon too? I do, I'm not even using it. So there's only wire beacon one. This is two, is this one over here? No, it's just normal ones. So they're all ones. Don't even upgrade to twos. The twos are way better. Huh. I don't think I've upgraded to Wider Beacon twos. I thought I did. I thought I had Wider Beacon twos, but. I don't see them. I think we got the older basic, basic beacons. Um, well, I'll put one down. I'm not sure we got many spare, but maybe it's because the resource it uses. Where is the building we got? We got over here, eh? I mean, it's. Oh, I should have a bigger radius, actually. It would be nicer. But it does use 10 Nacrium Tesseracts. Maybe that's why I haven't done it. I 
Uh, let's see what it puts in. Do we not have a pattern for it? Maybe I don't. Uh, hybrid 6, try that. Oh, we got all modules. I've done this. Nice combat there, that's why everything there. It's all speed modules, okay. Speed 6. How many speeds do I have? I think we've got a couple speed 9s up here, but 100 speed 6s is what I was like. I keep around. This is gonna go stupid fast, and that goes in. I think I'm gonna go efficiency though. I don't really want to go insane speed. I'm not sure it uses sand. I'm guessing I do. We'll see. the video stats. I'm skip frames. I guess it's about to download to USA. Yeah. yeah. That is 10 crappy speed, 10x. 25 megawatts. We used up all the um Vulcanite, which is good. Which so get all these into a rich. I don't think I got enough uh crushed. I'm run out. Put this thing here. Oh yeah, we're gonna do the um copper wire here. Hey where's dude? Oh you get sound off though. Echo Chamber where's dude? Salu? Echo, echo, echo. What much wood we got? We got... There's not much else we can do wood, wood use I think. And that's very fine. Yeah, she wants us to use the copper here, but it's what won't. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Let me take that out of. Um... That's better. What's the hold up? Ah, oh, that thing there. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. I'll break. I was going to do an ingot converter, but I don't know. How's, uh, how's your New Year's been, uh, Wiz? What have we been up to? You keeping out of trouble? Or are you being naughty? Yeah, we're out of Crush Vulcanite, so that's the end of that. Might as well recycle the... the uranium stuff. I think the rat facility does it. I had pollution. Turn ready for a minute. Imagine you get space spiders. They're crazy. Okay, let's do some fuel soon. Oh, we can't put it there. Let's go manually edit. Yeah. We're gonna export the um enrich though. 
from here. Not that we need to, but I might as well. Ah, uh, where should we yellow? Might be. Did I bust it out? Why isn't it requesting it? The bots has been lazy. I think about lazy bots. I do. Yeah, here we go. Oh, that's better. So that's going eight crafting speed. I'm not that. Jeez. It's red facility, so. Hmm. That's, that's um, hybrid six, but I think red should be in here. It's not an efficiency for some reason. I guess it makes sense. I think this stuff here should be... I should bring over the efficiency six, actually. I'll do a speed... Well, it's kind of hybrid, though, isn't it? Um, that's more like a speed module build. Yeah. It's this one here. I think we got the, um... Oh, that's on red. That's on speed four. Let's go six. That's better. It's actually quite slow still. 60 second craft time. So we've got 13,000 of them, does 5 each time, so that's like 2,500 crafts or something, actually, yeah about 2,500 crafts, so, I need to make 60 seconds though, 2,500 times 60, uh, hmm, like 150,000 seconds? Jeez, jeez. I mean, I can have two of these, but this thing's actually consuming 29 megawatts by itself. Not that we care, we got plenty of what? Uh, over here. We're just trying to get more recycling out of here, so this, this restructured ship can do its thing. Um, look at these prod modules. I should do prod. You can't prod the prods, eh? I don't believe you can. My brain says no, so I wish my mod module search of work still, but it doesn't. I believe we got prod twos in my factory somewhere. I'm messing them up to orbit. I'm doing a proper like prod prod build. Why we have to like a full on end to end production build, vitamin lunge and all the rest of it. I remember where I built the prod build though. It was somewhere in this maze. Look at my cannons, I love my cannons. My ca I love cannons. See, give me more cannons. Um, yeah, I'm not visually seeing the prod module. I see a prod module there, a prod 3. Looks like speed modules. So maybe it is all non product Makes sense. So I might as well make an orbit then. In the big building. Which means I get the industrial factory. Going. You notice that fitted inside the... Um, oh, we can do this to the north side. Oh, it doesn't really quite fit, does it? If I put this to the south, I would have... I better put another one around it. Would have been good. Uh, we can start one here though. Hello there. Yeah, double Rani Veldek. Happy New Year. Hey, yeah, man. How's it going? What's new? What's the story of the day? Yeah, we need a lot of art circuits. Eight thousand. Oh no, 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 nobody. 
calm down. Calm the farm. Okay. That should go pretty quick. 80 crafting speed. I mean, that's pretty quick. Let me get some speed modules in too. This one's going at 10.8. It's not bad. I'm starting to think though that um, for SpaceX, actually productivity modules are a waste of time. Besides like, necrotype type things. That was complicated builds. Minus 16C. Wow, that's pretty uh pretty icy, bro. It's plus uh plus 24C here. So there's, there's actually a 40 40C difference between uh where I am and where where you are. 24 is nothing amazing, but it's just like it's like the it's like my ideal temperature right now. I'm having a cold drink. That's very nice. I was having ice water before. Let's cool down a little bit. We definitely need, um... What's going wrong with this? Ah, oh, it's a less than one situation. Why don't I do that? That's a bit dumb. Uh, let's turn these off. We don't care about that. Well, 25 Vats modules. So uh, we've been shoveling snow, Vildak. We've been uh, playing playing with the ice, making some ice sculptures with a chainsaw. Vildak's chainsaw sculpture. So like we don't really load these very fast, do we? I guess it's overfilling. How far does it overfill that? Look at that sulfur. It's like up to 500. That's crazy. It's better to not shovel if it stays. Oh. Do you salt? Do you salt the earth? Do you salt your front, from your your porch? Or is it a waste time salting that stuff? Do you have heated tiles? Do you have a flame for? Get that real. Get the real heat going, you know. Just blast it. This is when someone cleans payment from snow and leaves ice beneath it. Oh yeah, the ice, that's no good. Okay, looks like we need multiple um inserters. This is just this is just dire. So I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a bigger box. Maybe do two boxes. I think maybe the four by four might be better. Try four by four. I don't think we make four by fours. Let's have a look for the storehouse. Um, we got storage storehouses. We do have storehouses, we do make them. Let's see if I made uh, the green one up here. True. So don't clean anything, is what I'm hearing. Just, just let it fall. Just let it be. It's a song, I believe. Let it be, let it be. Let it be. Something like that. It's very, it's a very memorable song. We ran out of copper. No, we got crazy on a copper. So we ran out of uh, wood. We ran out of wood. So, what else can we take? We got plastic to recycle, and all this iron and copper. But these uranium's gonna take a, a long time to get rid of. We do actually have uranium, uranium as well, which is a bit weird. Um. 
We can unload more across this way. How far can we go? Oh, it's kind of the edge of the thing, isn't it? Yeah, probably should move that further south, I believe. I think we go put it down there or so. Uh, we'll do that for now. Yeah, let's try that. So how's your, uh, your, your Stargate server going? I saw you did some images on the Discord. It looked pretty good. It looked pretty good. I liked it. Yeah, what are these prod modules? How many prod modules do we have? Prod. 30,000, jeez. So I think we should go prod 7s even. We'll just get more prod 6s up here. We get 50 prod 2s. I don't know where they go. Do I use them? I think we can I even use them. Solver needs more work. I need to make editor of pyramid cartouches. Oh. Ah, oh, pressure move another few tiles to the right, eh? Um me move it three to the right. Not oh, there or so. I only added notable patterns from star mapping research. Oh. Yeah, the, um, there's a guy called Clown or something on the Discord. He sent me these images. He, he mapped it all out. It's like a bunch of pentagrams. Us is the pentagrams, basically. That's pretty cool. Come on, game. Can you can you move it over? It's my stone ship anyway. Things left me in the lurch. Where'd he go? Uh no. Who's up here? Hmm... I'm not sure. I thought it was a 45, but I can't see 45. Oh, there's a raptor. Here we go. Where's your stone, buddy? Oh, he's going to get it now. I mean, it's quite slow on the travel. I'm always stuck forever going back and forwards. The fuel says no, say this is on his first trip. So I started watching clips of dating podcasts. Uh oh. What is, what is a dating podcast anyway? I mean, I, I've seen like on Twitch, a few uh, female streamers do like the, the 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 dating interview, like the you know the, and they get voted off the um, they get voted off of within like two minutes. And uh, the chat like says, oh, we don't know this guy. It's quite funny. It's more comedy than anything else, though. Mostly whatever and fresh and fit. Oh, 
I think we all live in a fantasy world though. I don't believe it's it's one group of people. I think we're all pretty delusional in our own ways. Oh here we go, the stone boys are coming. This will work pretty good, I think. Looks like reduce the power. I probably should leave some um, batteries here. They think 100 and 200 k. But the people, you gotta remember though, like your sample size of these um, of these the people doing it right. That's probably the norm around that who they hang out with, right? So it's all about the myopia of who you know. Like, if you hang out with people who earn 20k a year, then yeah, 200k a year sounds like crazy. If you hang out with people who earn a million a year, then 200k sounds poor. So it depends on your uh, your friend circle, right? Who you normally see in life. But yeah, 100 200k is very much like, I think top, top 5%. Like top top four percent or something. It's quite quite high up there. I mean that that's top that's like top five percent in that country, not in the world. In the world, it's even it's even a higher percentage. But for like you know USA, under two hundred k, top five percent probably. 100 200. I think like yeah, where I am it's probably similar percentage. I think it doesn't really change too much where you, where you live. Incomes. Well it gets convert converted by currency, right? So And I love this. I love this request for 33 million. Like this patch this patch idea was genius. I can't believe I used it. Read resources. So clever. Yeah, see I, I earn like nothing. I'm on, I'm like I'm like middle I'm like uh median income. It's not like bad, but it's not good. I mean, way more doing IT work though, that's why I know. Jeez. IT like pays like double any other wage, any other sector for what, what, what the job is. It's crazy. It's like, no one wants to use your brain, who would have thought? <laughs> use your brain is hard. <laughs> uh, the brain class. Oh, we're out of sulfur, what? Oh, it must be in um in the buffer chest. Which that works out quite good, so we can't take too much. But where's the extra sulfur? I thought we have the whole bunch down here. So they were in the buffer chest here. Yeah? But where's the um, normal chest of it? They're not requesting right now, which is good. I think these are, um... It's meant to be for these ships. The sulfur. Yeah, I, I, I'd say IT is almost like a, um... It's like a genetic filter on, like... Neanderthal DNA and this this is a weird way of thinking. This is different different thinking. Um it's not normal human thinking, IT workers, that's for sure. I mean I don't know what normal is, but you know, like in the spectrum of like like one to ten, IT workers are in the in the ten, right? So they're thinking very differently to everyone else. Different way of thinking. I don't know the sulfur. How do I get the sulfur for my chips? Because uh, I'm, it's only for the other thing. 
There's a problem for this. Now I could do a request suggest. Um, this is quite far away though, it's not a lot of travel time. So I'm not sure I should do it here. I was doing it here because of the modules, but actually these modules should be... These are the smallest item in the lot, so... I should move the prod building down to the south, over to the west side. It should be over here somewhere. I don't know where, maybe like in one of these gaps. Because we got all the... There's all the vitam large, where's my existing prod modules are. Now I think we just grab prod 3s from the ground. I mean, lots of people who think they can do the job, but when you get right into it, they just at least suck at it because they can't think like the devices they are supposed to fix work on do. Yeah, I, th I think IT work is actually putting your brain in, like into like a different like a different mode. It's probably been quite empath empathic actually, but for technology, like technology empathic, that's a thing. You're thinking like a machine. And then what's machines look what the machine wants rather than what you want. The machine wants this this style of thinking, so you gotta think like the machine. I think it's like a language though, like we think about it, like most I think almost every single subject that humans learn is a language. Like when people like learn to program, that's literally is a programming language. But when you learn math, I think math itself is a, is a language. Um, physics is probably another language. Chemistry. I mean, all these things are just a way of like interpreting a different type of universe, I reckon. Like, I think almost all of our way of learning is, is actually language based. Like, almost all of it. That's why ChatGPT went so viral, because um, that's exactly how our entire world is structured, is, is uh, like language chains in our brain. We just convert a whole bunch of symbols into meaning, oh yeah, that means that. Um, but a whole bunch of these, these other things, oh, that means that. And like, you think about like a generation, like one generation to the next, completely different. Because they get all their own lingo. They're basically creating like their own little pseudo language. That's what happens. Pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. Okay, I think this uh, this reprocessing is going to be too slow. Then 185. Then it's also a very bad language, Kappa phase. Well, I think I think most millennials are actually like more um, more commie than uh, capitalist. It's so like the generation without wealth is more commie, right? That's how it works. So you have a, you have a wealthy generation who make all the money because they were like the first generation. And they're capitalist. And their children are commies because they, they want the, their parents' money. And they can't make it because it costs too much to make make it. Because there's no there was extra competition in reality, right? So they have a harder batch about it. So they're like commies. And they need kids. They're hyper-capitalists, hyper-capitalists, not just capitalists, hyper-capitalists, like they're fucking the Zoomers or, or uh, uh, the Gen A's or whatever, they, they either go hyper-capitalist or hyper-hyper-communist, and then you have war. <laughs> that's pretty much, eight, that's like 80 years of humans, that's how we, how we, how we roll. We, go, <laughs> we just rotate between those four things. And then it all resets again, and we start again, a new a new boomer equivalent, whatever we kind of call it. It'll be Generation Beta, probably, with the, will be the new boomer. Funny enough, it's another B letter. <laughs> the Beta Boomers. <laughs> the Beta Boomers. <laughs> I bet they'd hate that lingo. Lingo. Oh, you're a Beta Boomer. You're not a true boomer. You're a Beta Boomer. Oh, oh. We remember the boomers. They had, they had a good time. You're not a real boomer. Well, there's a lot of entitlement that builds into, into society over time, right? So, no one knows hardship once there's wealth everywhere. I mean, there's actually a lot of poverty in the world, but it can, 
in the in the scheme of human history, we've never had this low level of wealth. This is much low wealth before, so the amount of entitlement is at like record highs. And everyone feels like they're entitled to the real good life, but of course, that's never going to happen. Everyone's going to get. It. I think most of society is going to get squished, pushed down. Because it's all it's all relative, right? It's a, it's a it's a percentage based thing. So if you know anything about bell curves, you know that the bell curve can never change. You can have like subtle variations, but really, it's all going to re it's going to re bell curve, and then all the people who think they're actually quite well off end up being like middle class or poor, because it all gets shuffled around. But it takes a long time to change these things. Thing is, like, it's really hard to prepare people for a world that's um, wealthy, right? So, like, this literally is like the most opportunities ever in a wealthy world, but they're not the the opportunities that the parents know about. The opportunities actually like can be a complete like uh, like parallel or obfuscated like to to some like weird different place that you just don't know about. So you don't actually know what the, you don't know what the best outcome for your kids are. So most parents just teach their kids how they think they should be taught. Like, oh, I was taught bad, so I'll teach good. But maybe they needed to be taught bad. Maybe they be maybe need a bit of a bit, <laughs> bit more of a rough lifestyle. I don't know. That's not really good. Not good advice or anything. But because I don't have kids, but uh, I think there's no perfect way to teach kids. They're always going to end up in their generational mix. And their mix is like based on when they're born. And if they're born into wealth or they're born into poverty, depending on what went before them, right? So you can't really point fingers at generations. Like that's just uh That's like rich people trying to create class warfare, which is a bit shit. But that's what happens. Let me get another one going, get prod throughs here. What do you reckon? Production threes, I yes. I need blue modules and that's the Vulcanite blocks. Ah, I see, I see. Okay. So I need a whole bunch of modules. Um, four of blues. Four handy. Actually, we don't need the, well, we could request some, I guess. Uh, where's the modules? I can't remember. Are they here? Oh, there they go. And Vulcanite. So, I don't know. Like, right now, the optimal, like, right now is the best time ever to start a business. It's never been better time to start a business than today. We're in, like, a phase where all the zombie companies that were funded by infinite money they're not getting infinite money anymore. So if you actually got a proper business business idea, you're not going to have competition. Previously, you'd have competition from, from zombie companies with infinite money, but now there's no infinite money. So if you actually got a proper idea that's actually like going to make, you know, make a profit, it'll just grow naturally and it won't get destroyed by, you know, zombie companies, which will put you out of business. So the best time ever to start a business. If you've got any, any practical ideas, like in the physical world, Best time ever. You can make some amazing business opportunities, I reckon. So that's the thing, like, would parents teach their kids about business? When they've told their kids to go to university and get an education. And get, like, a normal, you know, Sydney bum job in an office. But those jobs won't exist in 20 years. They won't be sitting on bum jobs in, in 20 years. They won't exist. They'll all go, they'll, go, they'll, be, they'll all be gone. There'll be no sitting on bum jobs. Not sit on bum jobs. Sit on desk jobs. They all disappear. You have a whole lot of, uh, you know, highly productive workers aligned with AI, and they won't. Need, they, they might work in an office still, but you can't just walk into a job and do that. You, you, you've already been there for twenty years to get to that, or something. You know what I mean, like, um. But we're gonna have a we're gonna have a hyper productivity. The next 10 years like productivity is going to go 
insane. Like this is totally a Factorio world right now. Like we're going through a Factorio era. Like when you when you first get your automation machine, that's where we're at. We got we just got our tier one we got our tier one uh automation in the real world. We got we got this uh this little bad boy here, burner burner assembler. We got this. This is what we got in the real world just right now. And we're just going to the sim machine with power. That's the technology we're at in the uh, real world. <laughs> Going to a semi machine mark one, baby. It's gonna be glorious. I reckon Wiz dude's gonna get a robotic robotic uh, maid maybe? I reckon Wiz. Is that your sort of thing? Hey, where's my blue modules? We got none. Mm, I don't know I don't know nothing up here. It's product two. Oh there we actually made some prod trees. Hmm. I see like a motivation in some sort of people. I can compare two store chains here and it's a crazy difference. I think that, I think competition does destroy motivation and other things destroy motivation. I think we are we are actually got a lot of people who've got no motivation at all. They think it's impossible to do anything now. It's like um say you're like a you're a bacteria, right, in the bottom of the ocean and you got no light. You got no eyeballs, so you can't. And you only got like a little sensor on your head that detects light, and you can't detect any light. Like your life is as a bacteria that relies on this light source to get from food. You're just doomed, right? Like you can't. You don't know that you float up. You're gonna find some light. You just float around, and that's like a lot of people right now. They're sort of just floating around. They don't know what to do. They don't know where the food source is. Like we need some. Uh, we need some direction on. You know. Encouraging society's bacteria to find the food source of the light, you know? Maybe a bit of praise be, I don't know. One store chain pays fairly well, and you can see all the workers are always busy in the store. Well, that's that's one motivation. I mean, a bit of money, but I mean... As long as there's enough money, people will always work the same. Relatively, in theory. I don't know if it's true, though. There's a whole lot of there's a whole lot of science in the last 15 years has been bullshit science. This is funded by uh, corporate interest or government interest. Both of them are biased. Both sides are biased, and so they'll push a narrative for more sales or push a narrative for more government, whatever. And so both of them are like a lot of bullshit science on all these studies on like uh, what makes people happy about money and all sorts of stuff. So we were actually in an era. I don't know what. I don't know. I don't know what you believe anymore. But yeah, I was just trying to talk about the pay of people. Like apparently, these are like an ideal income level, right? And people are happy about that. But no, actually, people just get happier and happier the more money they earn. They can keep earning forever more, and they'll keep getting happier. Because more money means more choices. More choices means less worries. For, for typical people, anyway. I think some people have too many choices that pretty much blows blows their brain up and they can't handle it. But most people have more choices mean they'll decide to do the one thing they like doing and then do nothing else. And they've got a happy life. So and the old little old little worker boy gangs you reckon about that. In the little stores. Little worker bees. Okay, I need to get uh I gotta solve this uh sulfur thing. I might have to move this prod module thing over. This is just a temporary thing. I think I need a home for it. Probably like to be honest, probably in here. Uh we can probably belt this up into here or something and build. And that won't be the worst idea for doing prod modules there. The rest of the prod modules up here with the bits of large makes sense. So we make the one, we make tier two and three down here, I guess. So Vado, would you ever work for for um? Like if you really desperate, what would the worst job you'd you'd work? You're desperate for money. Like what would you do? If you say you lost all your knowledge, like you had some like brain injury. And you couldn't work in IT in your current job anymore. What job would you do?
I always find it fascinating when I watch like uh, old movies. Like they always do physical jobs when they have like you know do a bit of time travel or something like aliens like that. The chick of there, she does uh, the forklift type thing. Like that's that's always in demand. That sort of thing. Do you have Chris Jared two on two? Ah, uh, hey Master of Cheese. Uh, no, I do not. It's just uh, pure SE. There's no K2. This is just, this is how SpaceX is supposed to be. I do have a K2 save game as well, but that this is not it. This is just yes, SpaceX. And on that, I'll be on B. I'm a hundred in with space and Chris Drew. It's so slow. Oh. Yeah, Space SK2 adds a lot of extra steps in the early early game. Um it gets better in the mid game when you get the better um Crastro 2 uh production facility. They get like an advanced furnace and advanced chem lab. I would beeline those. Go for the stuff that's gonna get to them fastest because that'll make it um yeah, you know, better off for you. It's real, really tough uh, early game of K SEK2. I think like, even like the burner phase is like slightly longer. I did um, my first round of that, I was like 400 hours, but um, that was before, that was like point Point three, point four, point five. It was like ages ago. And there's been a lot of changes since then, and it takes even longer now. You have to get heaps and heaps of um, bits and lunge. Not crazy amounts. Yeah, it seems there's a lot of processing in it now. That was a funny joke. Oh, what was the joke, Wiz? I didn't hear it. What was the joke? Entities are being damaged. What? Tell me more. I need to. I need to know about these jokes. We're gonna move this um, down to here. Move this way, actually. If you weren't camping in when you woke up the second day, your butt hurt and your pants were pulled down, would you tell anyone? Oh! 
That was a good video. I actually saw that video of that. I didn't realize it was um, the standard joke. But I saw there's a video. <laughs> uh, that was pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. An old joke? Yeah. I think a lot of uh, internet material does this rehash past. I mean, I think that's what most um, generations do. What, what most generations do is bring something from like 20 or 30 years ago and retech it. So you just bring it into the modern era with current technology. Um, and that's actually a lot of product ideas as well. You just bring a product from 20 or 30 years ago and you just retech it. And that's a brand new product. Um, the concept is exactly the same, nothing's changed. It's just got, might have a better form factor, might have some more functionality, but that's that's how product, products go as well. But yeah, I think jokes is obviously a bit, bit, bit funnier. We all appreciate a good joke. Oh, we're going with this. There we go. That's the sulfur. I mean, we could add we could add red and um, red chips to that as well. I don't know where the red chips are. They're like right near somewhere, aren't they? Neighborhood of sulfur is less than two hundred. She must do all of them for now. Let's get these modules converted over. Looks like the um the module space is too slow, what the hell? That's only it. Actually, oh what? 52 graphing speed? What the hell? Oh, I must have a beacon nearby. I didn't realize. Oh no. What? I don't see that beacon. It's just from the speed modules. Oh, I think it is. I thought we had um, a beacon in range, but I can't see one, so. Anyway, we'll shut down this one. This was just a nice little setup. We don't really need it. Um, I do love this big box though. Sharing the box is just good, good fun. Figure that. It's not needed. But what I want is more of these. I think the recycling thing is a pretty good idea. We got lots of uh, uranium two three eight. I can probably covert it up here. It's probably worth it. Uh, oh, I can no. Mm. I can move this stuff down, I guess. I think this shit here should move. I don't think we did this a very good idea. This was a bad idea. Bring this down. This thing here doesn't even belong here. Um. And then we can bring this stuff down. The bots will do the job. That would make it that would make a good make good use of it. Here we go. Let's uh, move this down. I think right there that's actually very good because that's gonna 
optimal with this. We can get another one above. I'm waiting two above. I think we do a Kovarex though. Do a Kovarex here. And then this ship can go on more travels. So it's got a bit of a problem getting rid of some of these items, but once I consume these prod modules and I'll upgrade them to prod whatever's, prod threes, it'll be pretty good. This is actually going decent now. We actually got very, it's very slow. The insert speed of these bees is just too slow. We don't even have enough um, sulfur. But we are starting getting prod threes here, which is, which is good. I don't mind. There's nothing. I am a little. Uh, Oh, let's see. What's he doing here still? What's he waiting for? Oh, is, is it the fuel? There's no fuel. What happened? No antimatter. What? Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh, when did I? Ah. Oh, it's up on a train line. Is that it? I think that was it. Oops. It goes a bit better. Okay, let's go make the um Cobrax. Well, we could do the uranium processing too, but let's do Cobrax. Why not? Oh, that is 40 at a time though. That is a bit much. I might have to do another. Uh, another one. Or maybe do a bigger box. Maybe these, maybe these 4x4 is actually the way to go. Not 2x2s. Two That's so seem to have run out of, um... Storehouses. Maybe I don't make them up here after all. I thought I did. So all that used up uraniums from uh, all my planets of nuclear power plants. Alright, what do we got? So we got no uh, 235. You ran. We got 203 here. 3.3k of the other stuff. I might as well start up, up, upscaling it, right? And the old AI upscale. It's not dog shit. It's legit, trust me. I know about these things. Um, I guess we do two. Lots of twos. Like that. And just do like. I don't have a filter or anything. You're not really requesting. I guess we have the initial one here. Request 40. Ah, uh, this is the normal Uran. It's 8 speed versus 10.8. So it's almost not worth having those speed modules in these buildings. Beacon itself is just way better. No, we have to do efficiency modules in these, but it's just sort of like, oh, I got plenty of power. Is the uranium? A little bit slow, what's going on? Oh, wait. oh yeah, that's, that, yeah. That's right, this is sort of like retired, isn't it? We're not going to be picking that stuff up anymore, though. That was like a temporary thing. We still got heaps of uh, enriched up here, though. How much enriched we got? 13,000. 
I mean, I can just burn it. I don't think I should use it though. Here we go, I got, um... Seems like it's okay speed, let's see if it works out. Hey, we, we're going. Go speed racer. So we'll turn all these, um, use uranium into, uh, two, three, fives. So you get, you lose three, two, three, eights for each two, three, five, right? Three to one ratio. And this is like five to three. So each of these fives turns to three. And that three turns to one. So it's really five used uranium fuel source is actually one of these uh, two, three, fives. And that turns into 10. Where is it? Where's the uran? Is this one, right? I don't see it. That's that one. Yeah. Here and now, I always wonder about trying this uh, particle stream out more. I did it in my um, SCK2 run. I played around with it. I don't really build a proper factory for it. I actually, maybe like, you know, they need like uranium or something. Might be good. I think making stone might be the best though. Oh, you need stone to get it in the first place, so maybe it's not such a good idea. Yeah, so each one of these uh, uranium cells turns into U235. So this, this thing requires one. So I get from one fuel cell, I get... 10 of these back so then it's cost me 19 of those others so you just do the economy of that it's three three times right so it's equivalent of like seven two three fives to get 10 back that's like infinite power right it's just there's no productivity modules you know it's a power time thing that's not that's not not even mathing it properly it's like mental math this is really good. I didn't realize how good it was. So it's probably just worth just doing this sort of thing in space. Like, why bother doing the um, the ground ones? It's real slow when you do um, these centrifuges. These things are dog shit. Like, right, these are really bad. At one crafting speed, this thing's got 10.8. Way better. Um. So I'm just going to recycle. We've got the iron and copper up here as well. Now, I was looking at recipes, and I think I had a usage for it. For the iron and copper. I can't remember what it was. The copper I can just turn into a rocket fuel if I wanted to, but that seems a bit stupid. Which I guess making thermofluid is actually a legit thing. That's that, those two there. Um, and we've got sulfur up here too. It was a thermofluid build. I actually don't remember. Let's have a look. Let's do a factory plan of a thermo build. Where's our factory planner? What's up here? Um, thermo fluid. I know we made these already. Oh wow, this play, this save games before I even got onto factory planning. I've, I've done so many plays since where I just did heaps of factory planning. Yeah. Okay, let's go make um, a demo for a build. I'm kind of keen to see the consumption of uh, iron and copper. So we want uh, 10,000. What are all these recipes? Jeez. Now we are going to do the cryonite slush version. The non cryonite slush uses too much heavy oil.
But it says all this here, which I think is bullshit. We need to click down into these. Uh, how do we get the oil? Actually, we're not going to click onto heavy oil, no. I think cold liquefaction is probably the way to go. And that's why what I like doing. Flush is kind of a acid yes, gonna cost. So this bit of that, and then we got the um cosmic water. That's it. That's that's pretty much the actual recipe. Going down to the base parts. We got a lot of byproducts with that evil oil and light oil byproducts. That seems a bit excessive. Don't go matrix. Choose unrestricted items. Uh. I don't know. I always find it's tricky. I can't really figure out what's the one you just have too much of. I click on that one. It's not too bad. There's only a little bit of lighter oil left over. One of these zero. What's that about? Current section of unrestricted arms is balanced. To choose to unrestricted arms, create one of the current. Ones first. So I never understand this. I need I, I need someone smart to explain this. Well, vertical wares, help me out. Why? What's the best un unrestricted item to choose? What's the logic on choosing it? I always think it's like the thing you just throw away, like you're gonna burn it or something, like this sort of thing, like natural gas. And that seems to work out. All right, we make we make. We met 24,000. So, is it the item you're going to throw away? Is that where you number foot on? Or something else? So see, this, this thing here is actually not bad. The only thing we make is light oil. Excess. Otherwise, this is pretty good. I'm quite surprised how few machines. There's actually a lot of chemical plants, so geez. That uh, cryonite slash is insane. Now, this, this should actually be the um, biochem. What that sulfur? Should we make sulfur from these? Yeah, it's pretty fine. Sulfur. I think I end up making this in orbit as well. Different recipe. I'd use this one. You don't need don't need the prod modules. So the true cost is still unchanged. That's what I don't get. I thought I guess it's one K it's because it's eight. So the one K kind of overrides that, doesn't it? What's sulfur? What what's sulfur? Oh, it's already got sulfur. Let's see, I got up there. I'm missing something? It seems like it's like, like that water, 26,000 water. Crazy. That sulfur is the real uh, water machine. And then the cosmic water is the other one that eats heaps. That doesn't really eat that much iron and copper than I thought. So twenty percent of of the is actually copper. Ten percent iron plate. It's actually quite hefty. Then a lot of um, petrol gas. Now the a lot of oil we can frack down. Gas. And 
That's probably fine. No byproducts now. And I think we're good. Yeah. I feel that the light order gas is a bit sad, doesn't say that sounds a bit low. I guess these, I can make these prod model, prod drop, module right. I think we prod um, three's. We're in software as well, prod threes. Yeah, that dropped it down heaps. So that's like three KDs of each. Not that it cares. More the gas reduction is what matters there. Um, I think the rest of it doesn't really matter. It's not a material difference to how much we get. I mean, this one maybe. Or three. Yeah, it gets a bit more uh, gas a second. Yeah, it's not a bad build actually. I would eat up that, which has got an orbit, but we're gonna have a lot of gas shortage. This is a surprising little amount of cronut rod and coal, it's quite low. This stuff here kind of on the ground. We're not really using orbit, we could do an orbit. We, we could avoid doing the coal liquefaction step and do an, an orbit instead. Use um, biochem facility without prod modules. I think there's a lot, of, a lot of early game EC I did that, or other people did. They did the, um, uh, it did in space instead. Anyway. So the Kovacs is good. Got all the uranium war. Got some nuclear fuel reprocessed. This ship is still just sitting here though, we're still struggling to get rid of these last um, bits. I guess like the... I guess we eat the prod modules. We have to eat those barrels too. Have we run out of uh, stuff? What's going on? Why is there none coming from the belt? What happened? We ate it all? What? Is the ship... Is this so, too slow? What? It's red armed. Oh my god, it's so slow. We usually import sulfur. I didn't realise. I thought I brought it from the ground. What is it here? What's the, what's the logic on it? Ah, oh, it's 6k. Jeez. There must be stuff on the ground. I thought we'd request it though. Let's have a look. We have all the sulfur sitting here. Um, I thought we, we'd bring it up to orbit. It's all sitting here to use, but it's not been requested. They're very low on heavy bearings. Who brings the sulfur up? Not those ones. It's obviously this one over here. No filter. There's none requested. We've got all these prod ones. Well, she probably two is trying to go up, but um, some reason we're not seeing the sulfur up. We're at twelve thousand here. Definitely be seeing that up. So maybe my shopping list is not quite correct. Hurry about to check that list. Is it an orbit or down here? It was down here, but I don't see the. 
signal. A signal. This one here, right? Yeah. What are we requesting? In um. Where is the actual request for it coming from? We're reading sixteen thousand sulfur, so it doesn't send it up. So we're actually going to get it from that spaceship. Which goes another planet. El Wado goes, uh. It was a. Yeah, that was not bad integrity. We had a, we had a better one. I think it's stuck. We've got some ships that are stuck. Um, I thought we had some ships stuck. Maybe we don't. Oh, this isn't even moving still. What's this isn't even moving these days? A random amount of iron. Really. What's the launch condition? Great on living iron. Oh man, that's so dumb. I mean, that's just wasting resources, but uh, sure, good on you, bae. <laughs> you, you, you do you. Um, we're gonna have more storage for this stuff. We're up to 172, that's not bad. Decent uranium. Oh, I need the storage building, we forgot about that. Storehouse. Oh man. Calm, calm down. I don't have a lot of steel, but. Yeah, 16,000, jeez. I don't even like requesting steel. Um, concrete's even worse. I just want to make sure I got that building type available, that's all. This ship should leave soon. What's this next destination? I've only got two planets built, I believe. Like decked out, ready to go. We've probably seen more. That shopping list. It should always work though. Mission greater than two. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes, yeah, so it's trying to go. It's trying to go to planet or moon. It's fine. It doesn't care. It will go. Is he trying to go to both? Really? Oh, come on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And only one will lock in anyway, because it. You can't have a moon and plant the same idea. Yeah, it's fine. How are these guys going anyway? 8,000. Hey, we still. We can still, still test style. Haven't done, um. Haven't done my goal. I keep. Avoiding my goal. I'm not sure why, but. There's a thing. Here's my list. Oh, that's the ground request. We need one for the orbit. Looks like we're a bit low on advanced circuits. I think making modules is the, probably the best thing to do late game. Let's go, go module. Team Mega Module. We're right now stone again. No, we still got plenty. Ah, 
I never even bothered making this better either. I really should have done that. But it looks like we actually managed to drain it down. We're fully using it. Actually, we're backed up on uh, iron. Somehow. That's impossible. What? I haven't backed up on iron. So weird. What these are? These aren't even getting any iron ore. I should actually have, have this one feed back into the back of this to get the steel going. I think that makes sense actually. Feed the back of that. Yeah, let's do it. Why not? It's a bit late in the game for it, but um, doesn't really matter too much. There we go. Make sure an actual use for it. I will turn that into um, molten iron and then uh, steely boys. Oh wow, actually, she, she uh, getting a decent amount of uh, ship parts here. Still got shot in the arrow frames, but this is a request problem. This shit looks pretty uh, happy though. Okay, it's recycling now. Oh, let's go actually get some buildings. So we've done 212 Kovaxes and we got 166 left over. So we are using it. Not very fast though, but. I'm putting a train ship now. Those micas. I'll never be. We've got no modules, we've got no sulfur. No sulfur because the ship is left. And the ground does not see any up. Not necessarily a bad thing, but. What was that thing anyway? It's a red signal. Oh. Yeah, I don't know why this is not seeing up. I thought we would have more going up from the ground. I've obviously done something wrong on my logic. The ground or um This is my 13. Oh yeah, because that's the filter out the inserter thing. These barrels are going to recycle too. How many necking processes have we got? 35. That's not, that's not many. Yeah, the barrels aren't recycling. I'm not sure why, but they should be returning into iron or steel then. Um. Oh, 
full recycling machine. Well, that's it there. We actually are endlessly recycling barrels. We've done 124,000. It's just really, really slow. There are 28,000 barrels up here. I was in the office today, um, Verdict. Um, I was in the office 12 hours ago. No, well, got, got in the office 12 hours ago. And I got home at, um, about 3 hours ago. Wasn't too bad. But that's why we got too much steel up here. I see the problem. I thought we weren't recycling, but actually, we just got no storage for it. How are you about it? When are you in the office? Might go tomorrow. It's going to be minus 14. Minus 14, jeez, man. You're a brave man. Here we go, we're just gonna make barrels into thing. Now, what's this request anyway? That's request all the time. I think there's a logic to this. Only instead of the. Uh, Okay, we do have logic to it. We should probably speed this up though, this is a bit slow. Oh, we don't have a recycling facility upgrade. Um. I do like, I do like some speed. Lasers. We got some lasers. Lasers. Major, major lasers. Yeah, that's right. Uh... I wrote a letter to Santa last year to bring me gloves, hat, and some ski mask. How'd that go? Did, did you get your wish? Was we you, we you a good boy? Did Santa um reward you? Like, did, did it work out? You're a good boy. Ah, oh, that's good, Veldak. You're on the path of salvation now. Oh look, we're going fast. 6.3. Still a bit slow really, but... I don't need those anymore. We can probably even destroy this thing, but... Ah, oh, they really do. Oh. And the batteries. Define good. Yeah. It was was is it was is is Mark a good boy? Good little is Mark. I was not a good boy last year. I was a bad boy in my own way. But really my bad boy is probably not a good boy. So. I think tinkering of AI is considered bad, but I think it's good. It's all about your own perception, right? Oh yeah, those plates, that's right, we're not supposed to, we should be using the 2x2s. Two I mean, that's, that's a slow craft. Being good is overrated. Here, here, to Esmok. Three chairs. Three chairs, yes. I concur. I concur, I concur, Grandma. I concur. 
Yes. I knight I knight the Sir Esmark the Bold. I use AO to hold a Seaver's photo. He sent a picture from a boat trip. I use AO to put life vest on him. That's pretty cool. I won't tell what what I, I I do with AI. Not sanitary. Maybe it's maybe it's maybe it's um not sane. Oh well, we've got like nothing to recycle at all. So we are making uh scrap very slowly. I don't even know why. We just are. For some reason we're making these recipes. Hey look, we got some uh, sofas turned up. Isn't it wonderful? I gotta fix that ship though, next time. Oh look, we've almost emptied out the ship. We've only got two more slots to go and then I'll fly off. We're gonna be a good boy. Recycling things. Look, we're recycling. Recycling, recycling uh, radiation. We're all in on the green. We're, we're doing green, boys. All on on carbon green. This is this is carbon credits right here. I tell you, never seen anything more carbon credit based than uh, recycling uranium. Only heavy metals, mate. Only heavy metals. Only pure, unadulterated radiation. Come right up, one at a time. No, not too many. One at a time. Get your radiation dose. This is this is how it's done. This is it. Oh, this is, it's whirring around. Radiate, 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 radiate. Hey, what I save? Actually, I sort of think about what I save in the settings um, from uh, my stream. I sort of think about what I save making it uh, faster or something. But I think it was in advanced settings. What the hell? Why are you getting 56% or 72% or 71% like that? What's it mean? Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Huh. 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 Okay. I don't have the advanced mode on. I've got noob mode on. I can't see the settings that Mike saw. There was a there was an auto save um interval. Uh, an auto save type of save or something. Radiate, radiate, radiate. Hulkify, hulkify, hulkify. Hulkify, Hulkify. I didn't actually appreciate this uh, going around circles before. It's actually quite neat. A little cog wheel. And it's like, it's actually quite nice the outside thing on that. I don't remember it even moving before. I thought that was static. No, it definitely will move. Hmm. The mystery. Anyway, looks like we got um we did a nine thousand uranium, so it's doing good. We just need to uh you know eat some more prod modules. Now plastic must be a thing we can eat too. What what we use plastic for? Who uses plastic? Um. Advanced circuits. Maybe advanced circuits. Maybe you make them down on the ground. I can send them down. Maybe. You can drop them down. LDSs, we can drop them down for that too. We actually almost got everything up here except for glass. 
Wait, they're all work. Ah, that's right, the canisters. Yeah, this is a this is actually a good mach good little eater. Those canisters. I don't really need the canisters that much. I mean, what? I oh, look at that one pair bloke burst. Hmm. Really, Mig Pack Two needs a canister. I'm not really using any of them though. I think it's this one, this magnetic canister. Is, 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 this is a bee's knees. Got three uses. I think the main use is actually, um. Antimatter. But. That needs a heap of antimatter stream. I don't really know how to make that much. Of that. Oh, we're actually maxed out on antimatter. Look at this. We got 1.8 million now? Really? Man, I've been busy. I guess I've been idling a lot. Let's try and get the junker going so we can go to another planet. Let's do all this stuff here to unload. Bots are taking stuff. We're slowly taking up the pod modules. So in the radiation. But let's keep stopping because we ran out of um, sulfur. I need to find that logic. I couldn't find it before. There's some logic I've got going on that stops me sending more from the ground. On this belt. The train's not seeing it up when it should do. I think it's based on 6,000 logic here. Um... I don't know where it is. There's, there's like a... an old list somewhere. It's got the sulfur in it. I see I put it on. I think it's here, maybe? So it's 250, it's definitely not a... Not connected. Well, it is connected. Is it? Yeah, it is connected. Maybe that higher, mate, that, um... Try that. Will that add? To request the ground. Have a look. We should upgrade these to prod sixes, but I think prod three is pretty good. Still nothing there. I think it's gonna be higher than the um, amount in orbit. Which doesn't really work out, does it? I guess because I'm measuring the whole orbit. But really, the amount of orbit shouldn't. It should like discount these ones because these ones are not really available. I think it counts them though. But these slots get counted. So it's 7200 times 2 is 14400. So let's say 15,000. That's 16,000 currently though. I guess it's, it's counting this one here. We'll go 18,000, say 18,000. That should request them. No? Really? What? I'm so confused. There was a cult here led by some guru. Imagine a cop was led by an idiot. That'd be a funny one, eh? The years of manipulations, he instructed two members to... What? Oh, no. Sounds like their story about a cult was a bit wrong. <laughs> I think she got... They got told fake news. Okay, even though I made 18,000 here, it made no difference to this request. So something's different. Somewhere else is requesting the, um, the title. I thought it was actually like a list. But I can't find it. I 
Where's it there? This is the main signal. The red. I'm oh, just going for the red signal from the ground orbit. Yeah. This signal here. I'm trying to diagnose something I did a year ago and I can't remember because it's been so long. But it's, just, it's literally this bit here, so maybe it's in this list. Is there sulfur? Oh, I got 10,000 here. Okay, so we take this one off. We don't care about this. This one doesn't matter. This, this can stay down at. Who cares? Who cares amount? Oh, that means that they started recanning it. I see, which I don't care about either. Yep, yep, yep. Hi, Sipa. There you go. How's your, uh... How's your day off? Or will you be streaming, uh, later? I think you know we stream about an hour ago. We start streaming an hour ago, but not, maybe not today. Here's my shout-out button. Hey, look, we got some goodies. We got some. We got some sulfur coming, are we? No, no sulfur. Okay, I'm losing my mind. Hey, does save you from water? Tell me more. Tell me more. We got lots of uh, steel up here. This is uh... yeah. You should be able to melt it down. I think there needs to be a melt down option for these. Uh... When you got ingots, you should be able to remelt stuff to make the ingots again. To package it. Oh, you're talking about the Cephas, uh life jacket. I see. I mean, I, 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 if I had a photo of Seaver, I can make him dance to a dance animation. If you want Seaver to dance, I can just pick Seaver's picture, select dancing waifu, and then you get a dance animation. If you really want to do that, you could. It is very easy. It'll take like 10 minutes to generate. Well, maybe 20 minutes. A little bit of time. Mars AI replace shirt with orange eye fist. And AI keep replacing whole thief with a whole other thief. <laughs> the, the other thief. Thief from another thief. Thief from another time period. Alternate time period thief like age really quickly because uh, there was a rampant virus that made everyone get old quickly. Everyone, everyone like lived to a sprightly 40, 40 years old before they uh packed it. But even unmarried him by erasing ring from finger. Oh yeah. These rough data cards are not a good idea after all. There's so many of them. I like to think that was Cypher. Cypher DS. Hey look, we got some, we got some, uh, sulfur boys coming. Though they're not going on the belt. Oh, why are they, why are not they, uh... Oh, there's less than 6k on the network. Mm. This says 14k. Which square ship? This little one? This one? It's uh, 
It's only 55% streamlined. This is not my, it's not the streamlined one. I've got an 88% square ship. I should find it. Actually, what's this one called? This is the damsel. I should find the, uh, we, we do have a sea for cat. Oh, look, this is the sea for cat. You got a nicer ship. You got a, um, you got a necrotite hauler. Um, we got one that's square, but it's quite, uh, it's quite good. It's pretty good. I don't think it's a swift. That's 73%. So that's 73%. Um, what's that Watto? 73%. Andy Gaming. Sucks. Oh, that was a little boofy. Yeah, 76% on boofy is pretty good. Trotsky. We went to Trotsky. They used to be hanging around. 88%. There we go. The Trotsky. 88.89%. Look at this. This is a uh, pretty square, right? It's got like a little couple of fins. I mean, we could probably put something there to help it out. It's probably hurting it. I wonder if we got parts for that. No, it made no difference. What a lie. Right now. Oh, we went down from that. Oh. What the middle one? Where again? Eight point five three. That's worse. Oh. I think it was better with the um little jagged little edge. No, it's way 8.53. Oh, that's a nine. Yeah, it's not bad. I like to get to 100% though on the square ship. I reckon that'd be cool. I mean, there's red arm instead of ice. Water ice, that's all they do. This plant's got no, no water, see? So that's, that's all the Vitamarge processing from water ice. And the trick I worked out is that my Astro Belt that was mining ice, that ran out of ice. So I, I made another ship that comes here and unloads the ice and then all the ships that still came here for the ice from this still keep coming here. So I don't have to change any of these logics for this, let's add a new ship that comes and drops the ice off. I think, I think it was actually decent at ice here. So it's 4.5k left, but it must be underneath the building. It, say, it even says that oh, as a barrel, oh, ice is actually quite low down the list. Not so good. This one's down here. Not bad. Come on, Where, what? Where's the things? Here we go. Well, this thing's a bit, bit smashed. What's going on? I guess the rocks have been... ...being at my base. Yeah, I think methane mining is probably the easiest one in um, this game. I like the idea of actually doing methane for Petro though. Yeah, so the ship that comes here, is, it comes from repair packs and flat solars, so if, they, if things get destroyed, this rebuilds it and it gets back here. There's no point defending it. Waste time defending it. I mean, it's literally, it literally only needs 15 megawatts to run this. Because it's got, um... 
Minus minus eighty percent on these uh, miners. Pretty good. They mine pretty quick too. I think I did a methane factory last time though. Is actually good use for methane orbit. We need some good factories. Oh look, we almost uh, we almost emptied out. We we're almost done. I'm trying to get my recycling going. You know, I'm trying to recycle guys. You know, Team Green. Oh. Oh, just look at my phone. I have an email. Why oh, I got emails? I don't I want emails. Your monkey headband template. What? Come on, emails. You can do better than that. Is Right, let's go back to chat. What's going on? Minus six degrees. Okay. Nothing's going on. Um, I kind of feel like making the ship a little nicer. I'm not sure I make it smaller though. It's 858. I would like to make it like little, but when I look at the spaceship floor, it's at 1039. And empty tiles is 103 out of 194. So. And that makes it really difficult. I could actually, I actually could grow the ship by 90 tiles and the size would in theory not change. Which I find strange. Strange. We're using the um, Vulcan up blocks though. Oh no, uh, no prod boys. Very slowly, but. We can prod modules, pretty good. The hall is a bit sad, but... Amazing how much three arms can do. Pretty good. There's several roads where there is rock hard ice. Oh. Not good. Mutiny tiles, 37 out of 106. Walls, nice even, no need to. A guy found iPhone, which fell from the airplane. was in airplay mode and had open boarding path. What? What the hell are you talking about, but I, That sounds really weird. Okay. 
Explain. 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 <laughs> They found out? Oh, right. There's some mystery going on. Something else. I'm gonna close a window. You know what else fills from the skies? Birds. I had four dead birds in my courtyard. I had no idea where they came from. Why are they doing dying in my courtyard? These birds, man, they're a menace. I mean, it's better than the, the army of moths that live in my apartment, but still. But the plague's here, eh? In the end times, we got end times. Okay, I think the bots are moving too much um, across here. This is supposed to be moving it from here on these belts, but for some reason we're, we're emptying here and then grabbing it. I think that's why I set these to not request. They don't request currently. They don't request when they receive a signal. Which is... Uh, Yeah, how does it work? I did some logic. I can't remember what I did actually. I did some logic here with the buffer request at on um No the inserters. Oh yeah, they wait for a console. And then I have a, I request a chest that requests them, that's right. Uh which one is anyway? These are on read requests. Do I have a set request? Is it this one here? Yes, yeah, is it here? So. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. When we're in Nervous Orbit, set request. Alpha. Bomb. Alright, there we go. Okay, that makes more sense. So that's why they're there. So they go. Duh, 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 duh. Yeah, so they're like fake buffer chests, actually. There's no settings for it. They do take up logistics. Hmm. I think it's a good setting. Set up. I've done it, but it could be better. Even better, I'd actually load it straight in on a belt rather than bot it. But it's only 2400. Hello there. It's okay. Hey, Mike. How's it going? How's it going, man? What's happening? So, what's the go? Did you stream earlier today? I, I, I didn't see I was working. Yeah, I'm, I'm your holoc. That's the one. I think babies get holoc. holoc colic. It makes them cough or something, right? They don't get that. Preparing for a snowstorm. Oh, exciting, but scary. That's not cool, man. Hope it's, a, hope it's not too bad. Does your place get like completely isolated, or is like you you're more in the city, so it's not so bad? You're far away. Oh, so, like the power lines could go out, the road could be blocked off. Dang, so you're in the you're in the serious serious places. Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, 
hope you got some uh, good heating. Well, I guess some candy you must do. 23 minutes from town. Yeah, I can't imagine being like in, in the wilderness in like a real cold place. Uh, that to me is like. I, I play games like in, in summer that are. Um, like, like uh, this game called Long Dark. It's like pretty much a winter setting in Canada game. And I, I kind of play in summer. Well, I don't play that game in winter, I play in summer because that's like a horror game for me. Like being stuck in like freezing cold temperatures with no supplies. And, and you're in the wilderness and like that's that's like massive oh my god oh my god oh. <laughs> scary 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 roads overrated i can travel anywhere with just a few clicks yeah you got you got your mouse you got your mouse sim out eh? your mouse goes <laughs> yeah mouse goes fast is that, is that, isn't that the one Maybe that's not the one. This needs to be more barrels. Well, hope for your sake, Mike. That's uh, all good. Praying, praying, we're praying for Mike. Um, with uh, with um, with uh, five seconds of silence. All right, we prayed for Mike. That was uh, that was wonderful. Oh, I'm serious though. I mean, that's that's no sort of scary, man. I've never been in one. I went on a mountain up when I was a kid. Like 3.5 k's up in the mountains. And man, I thought we were going to fall off the side of the cliff, eh? I was like, so scary. It's like the gravel road going up a winding mountain in the snow. It's like, oh. Scary stuff, man. Didn't get the train ships before Fatal Snowstorm, but you designed the train ship though. That's the key. That's the key. The key part, right? Oh, that's that's most of the way there. But who needs a train ship? You design. You basically got one. You design it. You can make a video on that one. You can make a video before your uh, snowstorm gets you. Hey, why is this not building any? What's going on? Ah, oh, I'm not requesting a buffer chest. I see. Yeah, that's a bit silly. Yeah, it does look like a Klingon ship, actually. I was going to say, like, Klingon ships, uh... How do I draw a Klingon ship? I think pipes is... Oh, not those pipes. Uh... Klingon ships are like... And then, like, the... Like, it's sort of like that as a Klingon ship, right? Maybe not this, it's not this way, but you know what I mean. That's like a Klingon ship. And your one is like, it doesn't have that top, but, but you know what I mean. He's my sad Klingon, Klingon boy. Get some blasters in there. Pew pews, get some engines. Meow. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's such a sad ship. It's a, it's a, it's, it's a pipe dream. Literally, literally a pipe dream. Of the Klingon ship. Uh. Right, how's this? Oh, we still got one. We still got one more to go. Explain, explain. <laughs> I watched this uh, XQC clip of of uh, Dila Dila or something. Dila Dila. He's just saying explain about like some sort of thing, and it just cracks me up. Simrock, you don't come in here. You're, you're like a, you're a hard out, Mike, 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 Chad. Must be up late for you too, man. What's the what's the time for a Simrock? There's no one sleeping today. 
I'm just having um yeah you know, light light night. Actually, I know what to do. We can eat. We can eat this stuff. Speed modules. I think. No efficiency. Yeah, efficiency modules. We go efficiency six. Hmm. My sleep habits are terrible. You know this. Yeah, yeah, I know. Eight a.m. Ah. Oh. Trying to rotate sleep schedule towards the end of my vacation. Oh wow. You woke up at midnight? What? Man, are you a are you a, like a are you are you a young buck? A sprightly chicken. Um a rabbit. A little rabbit. A rascally rabbit. Maybe a rascally rabbit, yeah. Some rock, yeah. Some some lady in a rock. Maybe. Ask you rabbit. Approaching middle age, well technically middle age these days is forty to sixty apparently. I'm definitely middle aged. But uh I don't know, I don't know, like if people start living to like like 90, 90, health, healthy, healthy 90, then 100 they die. Um, do we like add another term for like 60 to 80? Is like, you know, your second, your second middle age? <laughs> uh, I mean, is that gonna be a thing? Are people gonna, I, 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 I have no belief people are gonna live longer. I don't think that's gonna happen. It's gonna cost too much to keep people alive. Are oh, you watch Bold as well? Oh man, yeah, because Bold's like, to me, is like early, early morning, like when I'm asleep early. And then Mike kicks up just as I'm waking up sometimes, sometimes or after. Fifty-five to seventy are now best ages. Let's have the most money. Two thirty a.m. EST. Yeah, six six seven hours difference. I think. Yeah, that sounds about right. Eastern Seaboard. Hmm. I think it goes from f it's five to seven hours to USA for and Canada to where I am, roughly. So it's three hours in summer. No. Three hours in winter or three hours in summer? Fuck, I can't remember. It, 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 does, it does the merry go round. You know what I'm talking about. Alright, let's go make some uh, modules. Now, I do have modules up here. I don't think that's speed uh, and efficiencies. I thought we had some, but we got these things in here. I don't think we go beyond efficiency three, so I I think we go efficiency um four, five, and six maybe. Might be a thing. Might be a thing. Ah, oh, it's gonna chew up a whole bunch of chronite though. Oof, that's a lot of chronite. Logo efficiency. Yeah, it's not cool. You can have five hours ahead in summer and six hours in winter. Uh, yeah, it's about right. Yeah, but it's like twelve. It's like half a day behind to the UK to New Zealand. Were we supposed to get rid of Dirt Savings Time some years ago? I think the US was supposed to get rid of it, but then the um one of the one of the areas of U the US government decided that no, nah, we can't scrap that. We like controlling time. I mean. I don't know why you want to control time. I half the world doesn't use DST anymore. The other half does. Mostly the Western world uses DST. It's it's the most most moronic thing we ever did as a species. Like purposely increase the death rate. Purposely like 
uh, create more problems for people's memories and quality of life. All on the notion so farmers can wake up an hour earlier to milk the cows in World War One. I. I mean, and then like because you create something, you can always people that say it's good. We get more sun in summer. I'm like, well, no, you don't. You get the exact same amount of sun in summer. You get the exact same in winter. It doesn't change. Just that your stupid job works dumb hours, <laughs> so you can't enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> you're stuck inside because you're working a job you don't like that's the right that's the main problem with dst see if people worked like you know like 7 a.m to like 11 a.m and that was it hey you got plenty of sunshine now so you don't need a doubt savings time because that's what people worked back in the day before like you know industrialization because you pretty much couldn't work the rest of the day because it's too too bloody sunny Oh, okay, that's the... Actually, this uranium's doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. My ship's gone off, my little, my little, uh, recycling boy. Gone off on a, on a merry-go trip. Where is he? It's my stone hauler, isn't it? Raptor? Yeah. Uh... I don't even know, my, 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 maybe I do an easy sim rock. Maybe you can be my recycler. What? Why is there a ship there? There's no ship there. Oh, there it is. Hey, it's turned up. That's my recycling ship. So what's it grabbing? Well, maybe it's fair. Haze of, uh... Ingots, though. Jeez. It's supposed to go away in 2021 or so in the EU, but something more important happened, apparently. Kappa <laughs> phase. <laughs> yeah, I don't think they want to get rid of it. Because you got to spend money to change the clocks and stuff, you know, that's, that's a lot of effort. And then like... The Monday of the Dart Savings is like a horror death rate from car accidents and stuff like that, and heart attacks. Death rates from heart attacks on Dart Savings is insane. Oh my god. Literally, literally killing people for, for, for changing the clock time. I'm thinking of all those poor cats and dogs who get fed the wrong time. Hard attacks, yeah, the hard attacks. <laughs> the hard attacks. <laughs> um. <laughs> Die of hard attacks, that's a good one actually. <laughs> Yeah, those don't like saying people, they got the hard tax. I don't know what they're talking about, but... Um... <laughs> yeah. So anyway, this ship uh, is a recycler. Um, I might go, it's called the Virtue, but we might, might go uh, SS Recycle Boy. You won't give an actual name. Yeah, have the hard tax and grog on the high seas. Yeah, matey. He was been to death with hard tax. You mean he died of a heart attack? Not what I, not what I see. <laughs> oh my god, imagine get, imagine getting killed by tax. Like someone using enough tax to kill you. Like how many? Of the <laughs> You get bled out from tax, or they they put like 200 tax in your body, and you leave them there, and you just bled out, <laughs> and you die. Oh my god, that'd be a pretty pretty grim grim way to go. You probably get like massive infection before you even died as well. Let's not talk about heart attacks. I'm going back to heart attacks. Heart attacks. Not my uh, slangy Kiwi. Kiwi lingo. And this is not very effective, is it? This is, why'd I put one here? I mean, I like this build because um, it's symmetry and it's inside my RoboPort grid. But uh, while I got one of these, I, could, I should really do 
Oh, it's, it's like... It's side to... Hmm... We could get rid of that, those two. Maybe. Are you aware of the short film, The Horribly Slow Murderer with the Extremely Inefficient Weapon? <laughs> Is that actually a movie? Because I'd believe you if it was. I mean... <laughs> Imagine it sounds like a serial killer, like a bit of a uh, bit of a um, bit of a kick, bit of a side gig. Might be uh, it could be a new hit on Netflix next year. It's on YouTube, about ten minutes. Great laugh. Oh wow, it's real. Is it like a cartoon or something? Oh, we've got so much rich stuff here. Are we, are we running out of ores? I think these patches are trying to dry. These guys aren't mining shit. I mean, I haven't been here for a while. But these patches are looking pretty, uh... Pretty bad, aren't they? I mean, it doesn't really matter. If it runs out, we just go back to coal mining. I had fun on this play though. I was trying to like do a real low tech build, but it didn't work out. Anyway. Nah, amateur indie movie project. Dude gets attacked randomly by a sinister person wielding a spoon. Oh my god, D killing with a spoon. <laughs> I don't know about the spoon business. Oh, we got plenty of room. Look at this. Premium real estate. So I did pick up a bunch of iron and copper. Now, I think we'll recycle it on Agna. I mean, look at the list of stuff here. I think that copper is actually too bad for the iron. It's that thing, homium though. Maybe I'll make a. We keep like five. Well, I was. I think we set for six. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, so much junk on these planets. They're only. I'm actually low on stone for some reason. Sounds like a real spooner. Yeah, who's who's the big spoon and who's the little spoon? You know? You know what I mean. Is 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 that a thing? Is that is that what's going on? Am I missing the real story here? Is that actually a love story? I mean, it's a rom com. Romantic comedy. Hey, don't kill stuff. Both are the same size. Are both the little or the big spoon? That's a good question, Simrock, but I think... Isn't the big spoon always on the outside? And the little spoon's on the inside? Or is it the other way around? Hmm. My brain thinks... Well, it's, well, maybe it is the other way around. There's a little spoon on the outside and a big spoon on the inside. Is there like some spoon logic that I don't know? They're like, key, key to spooning. The little spoon is on the outside. There's bit issues. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I think humans are actually mostly the same size though, if you think about it, like you get like your torso to your head. Most people got similar dimensions there. It's only your arms and legs and shit that gets all wild. I mean it's sure you get a real short torso. But most people's torsos are actually kind of similar sized. 
Humans are pretty, uh, we're pretty sizes, to be honest. I think we've got quite similar dimensions. Ah, oh, short legs, long torso. So, so if you have kids, you might have real, real long, real uh, tall kids then maybe. If you have kids. I think I've got more, I'm more like, uh, I'm more long legs, short torso. On the other way around. Alright, I think we're going to do efficiency modules. I'm going to go and, uh, I might do it here. I don't know if it matters where I put it. But I think this build isn't too bad. But I don't want to request the chest to kick up straight away, so... I might just start like this. Um, we're going for... I mean, we could do efficiency two and threes, but... I think I'm going for four and fives. Oh, it's homie and plate, then homie and cable? What? That's weird. At least they make long leg trousers now. Yeah, I think trousers are not too bad, eh? Like, I think. You can't really go wrong with trousers. Well, you can, but I mean, no. Not too bad. Okay, we're not going to do that one. Um, what's this moment? We want energy catalog. I suppose there's cables. So I see a cable factory. So I need an ingot factory. And then a cable factory. Uh, yeah. Then... I'm not sure it's going to be fast enough though. But we'll see. This is the ingot machine. Ingotters. Ingotters. I right, got 24,000 ingots. Alright. It feels wrong making... Oh, they need plastic though, don't they? Yeah, it's a little awkward. We don't want that, but we want that. We want the plastic. And this... Wait. Less than... 100. 100. I so much want to open the jar with Marinade Kimber today, but it has to rest until Friday. Why does it have to rest? Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Why does it have to rest? Ah, oh, it doesn't quite get there. I should put it up and um, we can move it up. Like that. What is marinade can be? It's fancy Vildak food is all I know. But it's got a fancy taste. I feel like a snack, but I got no snacks here. I don't know. Actually, no, I got chips. I have chips. It's gonna be crunchy, and you guys are gonna complain. Hmm. This camembert sliced in half, and spices are put inside and glued back. It sits in oil for a few days with onions and more spices. Ah, oh, see, so like, 
I see. There's a lot more like a chutney or a sauce or something. I've complained about not having Bruh. chips then. Oh, sorry, sorry man. I, I, I have uh, 75 grams of chips a day. It's, it's part of my uh, healthy diet. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, it's my payload for uh, for salt and vinegar. It's payload life, you know. Get that payload. Well, if I streamed in about two hours time, Muxter and Mojo might be around, but Mike could be asleep. It's like, it's like a crossover between, you know, Canada and Australia is a bit rough. Twisted Tuesday? Oh man. We we see if we go. He must have must have drifted off. Let's see for land. Let's see for squirrel. You got coffee left for three hours. I have to say though, I don't normally eat any food till um like eleven a.m. Sometimes ten. I don't feel like a snack, but I try to do intermittent fasting. Um, so most of my meals are at dinner time, actually. That's normally my last meal, so I shouldn't have chips now because it's almost nine o'clock, and I normally stop eating by six p.m. I can't eat again until like midday or whatever, or ten a.m. or whatever. And it's six plus ten, yeah, sixteen hours it's supposed to be. I think. Yeah, see the fact you woke up at midnight and, and now it's 8am, almost 9am, that must be pretty rough. You're like afternoon tea time already, buddy. You must be, must deserve a snack, right? Some Simrot snack attack. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna eat up all these uh, homie ingots. I think this is a bit slow. Not gonna lie, that is this is really 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 slow. I thought we'd, we 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 wouldn't need these, but I think we each need a big machine. So uh, I might rip these ones out, and we're gonna go grab one of these big boys. Uh, uh, yeah. Can it work there still? I can't really, can it? No, because it's supposed to be that there. Uh, shit. Well, it could work out there, actually. Let's just put this one in here instead. Slicing it that way makes a lot more sense than what my head count with, I've got to say. Nick Lady, whom, what? Did I miss something from building? I did. Come on, pub food and check here. Oh. We like check here food. Oh, that's better. Now we've got, we know it's some... Got some real speed. Okay. Still need a hundred though, but I think it's definitely uh, a bit limited on the ingots. Maybe go for a hundred ingots. Maybe go. What's the basic per thing? I think. Oh, it's okay. I probably shouldn't share that chest though, that's a bit, this is a bit sad here. What we should do is just go straight, oh we can't, we're, we're too close. Oh, I'm stupid. Yeah, let's get rid of the, oh. 
Yeah, let's get rid of that. Yeah, we don't need that. Well, no, you don't. We're good. We're going to go down to our. Little in here. We haven't got a module for this either, but this should make quite good efficiency of fives. We got um these. Now I could go for the six. That that homium solenoid. So you look at the mouse over. It says 1.8k plates, and this one says 281. So that's just an obscene amount of plates increase. That's 90. That's 280. It's 1.8k. Like what the hell? And that's 7.5k. Jeez. I'm thinking like the efficiency five is like the sweet spot for my effort. Because the, even as like this cable loading is just it's awfully slow. We need multiple um ingot move movers there, but I think we're okay. I think we're okay guys. I think things are looking up. Alright, we have a little, little, uh, I love my little putt putt ships. Now this thing here, I feel like upgrading this to the, try to make a 100% streamline. It must be possible. I, I want to make a 300 size hull stress, 100% streamline, but it's a square. That's my goal. I was trying to convince Mike that we can actually do it um, 100% and I, I thought I had one, but I actually got 88%. So that was a, I was a liar. Um, I think the Trotsky, this one here is 88.89%, pretty square, and it's 291 container stress. Over 400 speed, Rocky. But faster than that, you get pulled over by the sp space cops. And I tell you off. Oh, it went down. Damn, okay. Thought I'd figure it out. Paper copper field is so uh, get results of pro con meter field. Oh, so coffee's about oil. Interesting. I had no idea. I suspect most oils that humans consume make them live longer. Like, um, I, I have a lot of curries, and a big part of curry is oils. Like, um, lots of, lots of oils. Mediterranean diet? Oils. Coffee now, apparently? Oils. I mean, I'm not, I'm not suggesting, like, Having actual oil, but like you know, fruit, fruit and veg oils. I was told veggie oils are bad for you, but I'm like, I don't know. I don't know about that. Beautiful oils also tend to be very muddy. Plenty of sediment. Oh, sounds a bit rough. Muddy fooders. Alright, I think the corner needs to be juiced up. I think that's how you do it. You do this sort of thing here. Gotta create like a... Height differential. And then it actually works out. Like this. Let's hold up. Do it 100%. <laughs> did it. There we go. 100% square. I mean, we have to wait, waste a few tiles, and we're still under, though, the mass. That's cool. Got 100% streamline. Little square ship box. Now, I want to bring like, these fins. Like, technically, like, these are, like, superfluous. I think this one is the worst, worst one. I'll go to this one here and see if it looks. 
to 100%, that's good. Now I don't think I can move this in any more tiles though, because the pump. What a square. That's, uh, my logic is it's um, based on triangles, the math, the math on this. It's height, height differential triangles. See, like a, this is a triangle down here, and this is a triangle up here. And then you got a bigger triangle for the whole thing. It's like three separate triangles make up one giant triangle. I think it's like top left to bottom right here. Like almost a straight line. Uh, when they roast it. Oh. It's not a one to one replacement, especially if you're depending on pre ground like normal people. Yeah, I, I'm, 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 just, I'm, I'm a basic, basic bitch when it comes to coffee, man. I just have instant. I mean, they've got little fancy stuff at work, you know, the espresso machine, but man, that's a lot of effort to go through prepping that stuff just for like a little bit better coffee. So, uh, you guys, you guys can have your fancy coffee. You deserve it. Yeah, all, all I'm learning here is light roast. I'm sold, Wes. I'm going for the light roast. Use paper filter. It doesn't let the water out fast enough and dirties up my coffee maker. Well, all we, it, it sounds like you've seen a better way of cleaning your coffee maker. That's all. <laughs> now, I wonder if I can remove like some of these and still be okay. That's 200%. Okay, I'll, I'll take that. So I think... A bit dangerous. But getting, getting rid of this one. Oh, that was a key. That was a key on that one. What about this one here? Yep, that was key too. So we can't really get rid of those ones. What the one between? What about this one here? And that there. No good? Okay. So I can't need all those. That, they're all, all key. I guess technically, like, the spatial walls are adding a negative. So, um, even your tiles, I've actually got. I actually have six more empty tiles in the ship. And it would be um, slightly smaller, but the container stress stops it being smaller. Well, I wish it was so really, or some way to make sure it wasn't dumping water too fast over the grounds. Do you have a water filter for your paper filter? <laughs> your little mist, have a little mist gun. Like, like mist, mist your uh, coffee slowly. Coffee misting machine. That might be like the next, next level of coffee. And I, I know I did, I did like the frother and stuff, and that, that, that's like kind of misting, but that's like the milk and shit. Yeah, fuck the milk. No milk, no, 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 black coffee. But maybe it's like a way of misting the actual grain, the, the grounded up beans. Mist the beans. Aeropress for the win, if you don't want to claim that. What's an Aeropress? Hmm. This is press the filter. Alright, let's try to get some more. I'll get rid of this one here. Good luck. Oh, that was key as well. What about this one? Man, all these ones are key. You can't really, um... Can't really delete them. What about that one? Yep, can't read that. Okay. What about... I know you can stick stuff on the sides. I mean, technically, I could put this whole side wall here extra out, but that's actually more tiles. It's nice there's only 371 tiles. I 
could actually get more tile space, so I wouldn't actually change the actual size of the ship. What about... I heard that one yet? So... Oh, we can get rid of that. Okay, that's alright. We'll get rid of that one then. What about that? Nope, can't get rid of that. Okay. So that's like the optimal. I can't really get rid of any more tiles. So the learnings here is that like, I think it's this shape here. See, triangle. And then a bigger triangle is this whole thing like this. It's like that shape triangle and then in a flat on the top triangle. Uh, but some of the stuff in the corner here matters too. Maybe it's a triangle from here to down like that. That's the other triangle. Maybe it's vectoring three types of triangles. I don't know. The Trotsky is definitely a... Uh, that's pretty tidy for a little square ship. Aeropress is basically a plastic tube with a plastic rubber plunger. You put the coffee in at the top. Paper metal filter at the bottom. Put on top of a cup. Grounds in. Water on top. Plunger on top. Wait. Press plunger. Coffee done. Set aside upside down. Let unscrew bottom. Push plunger through to push out grounds. Where's the automatic version of that, man? That sounds like, like, it must taste really good. That sounds like a lot of work. I feel like watching a ship fly for a second. Let's watch this one. This is the, um, the mole ones. Uh, BRB. Oh, it Alrighty. Oh. Oh, I like disappeared. 
Inverted French press. Well, a screen is an image that gets painted really fast. They're saying French press with um, different legalities. I should redesign my um, bits on large build. I really liked it with the wide area beacon here. Got two water builds here too. It's quite basic, but I think it worked out quite good. Um, I got the methane to deal with still. I think we're gonna we're gonna do a proper ratioed um that's one spice one over there but I didn't uh finish it. I ended up doing this thing. It's a bit I don't know what it was, but Oh we only limited five hundred. I think we got too many bar scrubbers, that's right. We ended up um now this all bit's filled up with uh a bunch of crap. What's going on here? Why is that diagonal funny? What? Huh? What? I mean, these are definitely out of alignment to that. Oh, so it's only these ones here that are like that there. Huh. I should fix it up. I'll do that. Mm, it's quite fiddly actually. I'm not gonna bother. Where are we anyway? Was it three hours? I think that's almost enough for a stream. Um I think that's pretty good. Might just do some AI stuff. Is anyone actually playing? I can raid. Hmm. The luck. Back to Twitch. Who is on? Oreo. The Kubi Boy's on. Doing Death World Marathon. And Mr. Dane's on. He's starting over again on ECK to 1K. Oh god. We'll go read Mr. Dane. You guys like Mr. Dane, I think. I believe so. He's a very good streamer. He's got a good, um, he's a well spoken voice. Uh, thanks for the chats, uh, Simrock Wiz, Mike, Veldak, and Sefa, and. Others, but mostly lurkers. Ismok. Thanks for the chats. Yeah, we're gonna raid Mr. Dane. Mr. Dean. Peace.